Hey everybody, Daryl and Holly from Exquisite Exotics here doing a, another video for you this week. So we thought we would go ahead and talk about rats. And I left my notes off screen, so give me one second. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay. um, so we've gotten rats now from three different places. We've gotten them from Rodent Pro, we've gotten them from Lane Labs, and we've gotten them from uh, Cold Blooded Cafe. So we thought we would go ahead and talk about our thoughts on all three of them. So a couple items to go over first. Uh, one, we used Rodent Pro for about a year and a half, so we have the most experience with them. Uh, Cold Blooded Cafe and Lane Labs, we only did one order. An order for us is a full box. Lane Labs, that's kind of hard to define because they don't really have box sizes like the other ones. But um, it's three to four months worth of rats for us, and our current collection is about 45 snakes, um, 45 ball pythons. So. To give you an idea of how many rats we're ordering at any given time, it's a pretty significant amount. Um, so we've used all of our Lane Labs rats, we've used most of the Cold-Blooded Cafe rats at this point, or a big chunk of them, enough that we think we can give you feedback, and of course we used Rodent Pro for a lot. Um, and I also want to preface this with, if you're waiting to the end to be like, these guys suck, you're not going to get that. Um, I personally <laughs> think all three are okay to order from, from our experience. But again, we have a small sample size for Lane Labs and Cold Blooded Cafe with only one order, uh, but they were significantly sized orders. With that and the disclaimers out of the way, let's talk about actual stuff. So we're going to talk about, uh, we'll start with packaging and shipping. Packaging, oh yeah, I was going to say packaging yeah. as far as yeah. what they actually come so in. Let's, so Yeah, let's start from like the very beginning of when you order to like, using them and going through everything. So from the beginning of the order, the first thing you're going to notice is um, shipping. Uh, shipping, we can talk about two things there. We can talk about cost a little bit, though I want to cover price separately. Um, and then the quality of the kind of the shipping materials. Mm -hmm. um, briefly, I'll mention that I think Cold Blooded Cafe is the cheapest. And when we get to price, we'll talk about why. Uh, At the time of us ordering, obviously prices fluctuate and shipping prices will fluctuate and yes. all that, but shipping for our specific situation. Shipping seems consistent, but rodent prices, you know, they go on sale, people change their prices, so. Um, Box-wise, I think that, you know, the outside box is whatever, um, but Lane Labs has the best quality of packaging as far as the actual shipping materials. Their rats came in a oh, styrofoam like a... cooler. Mm -hmm. yep. um, and then both Rodent Pro and, um, Cold Blooded Cafe both come with like a. Um, it's like a homemade cube of plastic covered insulation. There you go. Let's go ahead and describe it. it's um, it's very well fitted into the cardboard box that it's being shipped in. Um, I noticed that when we took out, especially for Cold Blooded Cafe, it stayed it, the shape kept versus I don't think Rodent Pro really did any like had any problem. I think it was just a. It was packed. It was wrapped around yeah. the product versus. So I think they're shaped. they use you, you you kind of called it, it they're insulation panels is what they are um, plastic covered like insulation panels. So um, if you want to see what I'll do is I'll put links. We have unboxing videos for all three companies, so mm -hmm. I'll put links in the description. So if you want to see how any of them look as you unpackage them, uh, you can go straight to the videos and see. So that's why we're doing this kind of this follow up for those videos. Um, next would be the packaging of the actual rats themselves. So I think I would actually order them in a certain way because I didn't think only one was amazing. I, I guess I will say Lane Labs. I do think that their their um, packaging, as far as what the rats come in, is very professional. It is a blue bag uh, that is um, like a a cooler insulated bag. It's very professional looking. The bag's not insulated. It's not insulated? No. What's it's just, the, a, it's the just, a, melan it's just a melanin bag. Oh, like, uh, I'm sorry. I thought yeah. it was like... A, um, no, they're not insulated. I, I apologize. I thought the silver lining inside was that, but, yeah, but that's they, not what it is. No, it's not okay. insulated. But it, it is a uh, labeled, branded, nicer, like that silver lining type bag um, versus Rodent Pro and Cold Blooded Cafe kind of just come in like plastic freezer bags mm -hmm. like you would buy at the grocery store um and both i think were singles that not like doubles that block there's a block bags basically yeah but i will say the cold bloody cafe the way they put them in is so organized they have um 
set up where they are um, from the bottom. There's two rows, especially for the smalls at least. There's two rows of rat and their tails are tucked behind. So it's almost like they fit perfectly down um, in two columns. Yeah. I, think that, I thought that was very nice. Um, Lane Labs, they actually tuck the, the feet and the tails into the body so that they're in there um, I think very well packaged as well. Verdon Pro is not really bad packaged. Uh, it's just not as organized and probably handled by hand that way, I don't think. Yeah, and let me describe that maybe in a different way too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Holly's description works, but so with the rodents from Cold Blooded Cafe, you're easily able to take one out of the bag and it's not really caught on another rodent, which is mm -hmm. kind of nice. Lane Labs is mostly that way, where you can just pull one out most of the time and you're not going to catch another rat. Though sometimes you're going to have to finagle a little to get two apart. Rodent Pro is the most likely where you try to pull out one rat and more rats are stuck to it and you got to kind of pull them apart to get to the rat you want. So is that kind of... Yes, yes. that's pretty much what yeah. I was trying to say. Um, no, no, your description was good. <laughs> just another way in case people didn't understand that. What I will say though, and this could have just been a fluke, and again, we only have a sample size of one, with our one order from Cold Blooded Cafe, the small mice, I think they were the hoppers that we got, were like a block of mice. Oh, yeah. They weren't, yeah. Uh, it almost looks like they thawed at some point and then refroze. Now, I doubt that happened at shipping because when they came, they all had, we didn't mention that, but they all had dry ice, mm -hmm. um, dry ice left in all of them. So I will say, I think Rodent Pro uses the most dry ice and I've had the most dry ice left when we got them. Mm -hmm. And we even had an order for Rodent Pro that got delayed a day. So it took three days to ship uh, and it was like mid summer. So it was pretty hot and there was still dry ice left in mm -hmm. there. So I think if you're looking for maybe summer shipping, um, Rodent Pro seems to put a little more dry ice than maybe the other ones did. It's kind of pro for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the lane laps thing with the one block. I don't know if it got missed in shipping. I don't think it thawed in shipping because everything else is frozen solid with dry ice. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just a oops. Again, only an order size of one. So I would not take that as a, cat all, yeah, yeah. a catastrophe there. Um, it happens. All right. Good for packaging and shipping. So. All right, quality. Now, keeping in mind that we only had one order from Lane Labs and one order from Cold Blooded Cafe. What we can't talk to is long-term health of your animals. Is there any different? Nobody tells you, well, I won't say nobody. It's hard to find out exactly what food they're feeding their rats. So you can only really, or at least for us, the only thing we really have to go on is visual quality of the rats. Mm -hmm. And that's all we can give you right now. Um, you'd have to feed for through at least one whole breeding season, if not two for a single vendor to really say, okay, I got better production out of it. And even then one season isn't enough of sample size to really give you any good scientific information. So can't comment on that, but I can comment on visual quality. Uh, I would say, and, and there might be a difference here, so I'm gonna do mine first. It's okay. I think Cold Blooded Cafe visually looked the best. Okay. What are your thoughts? I thought that Rodent, or not Rodent Pro, um, Lane Labs looked the best only because I felt like they were, their fur was very fluffy. Um, I know that sounds silly, but it was like they had a nice coat of fur um, and they looked healthy. They didn't look too small. They didn't look fat. They didn't, I don't know, just to me, I felt like they looked like healthy rodents. That's not to say that the other two didn't look at all healthy. I just noticed that they, to me, it was the quality of the fur and similar to like people's you know, your quality of your skin or your hair depends on your health or, you know, things that you're going through. And I felt like the fur made it look like this is a nice, healthy coat. Yeah. So. And I was more going off of see how I was looking at coat. I was thinking of the amount of times we thawed rodents and there was blood in the bag. When we oh, thawed. that's true. And mm -hmm. I feel like Cold Blooded Cafe had, had the least of, of that. Of that. Yes, yeah. so I will um, say Rodent Pro so, had the most. Yeah, so Not Lane Labs and Cold Blooded Cafe, visual quality, I think, mm -hmm. they are kind of on par. Maybe slight differences with those things we mentioned, mm -hmm. but pretty close to each other. Um, Rodent Pro was definitely the the worst, and again, I use the term worst lightly. Um, they I mean, have, we did use them for 18 months plus, so it was like, you know, we got very well-fed animals out of it, you know. Yeah. So we're not saying that that means Again, bad, from the beginning yeah. of the video, I'm not saying any of them are bad. <laughs> I, I would tell you to order from any three, and I think you'll be fine. Um, but 
there was more blood in the bags. There tend to be more ones with like a broken tail off or a broken foot. Mm -hmm. Again, they're in dry ice, so it's easier for those things to break off. But it happened more often, it seemed. It happened consistently with Rodent Pro. Again, mm -hmm. sample sizes are different, but it consistently happened with Rodent Pro. It wasn't like one order happened and then it didn't happen again. It was like every time we saw that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would agree with that. Okay, quality. All right, price. Now this is an interesting one. So initially you would think that, well, let's just go through price. I would say the price of the rodents between Rodent Pro and uh, Cold Blooded Cafe are pretty comparable given sales or whatever. Um, they're close, really, really close. Ling Labs seems to be slightly more per rodent but very, very slightly. And again, sales can offset that. So I wouldn't just go straight on rodent price. The big difference is shipping. Um, and there's a big difference between Lane Labs and then the other two. Mm -hmm. And then a smaller difference between Rodent Pro and Cold Blooded Cafe. And most people would think the Cold Blooded Cafe and Rodent Pro are the same shipping price, but they're not quite, and I'll explain why. Uh, first, Lane Labs. Lane Labs shipping was uh, more than double what the cost of shipping from Rodent Pro or um, Cold Blooded Cafe was. Their box sizes, you can't uh, like fill a box like you can on Rodent Pro and Cold Blooded Cafe. You can make sure with both of those that you're maximizing the amount of rodents you put in a box. Link Labs has all kinds of different box sizes. You can't really decide which one you're going into from their website. Uh, Holly even called them and asked if there was a way we could do that because we wanted to optimize our box size for shipping cost. Uh, and they were like, mm, we just kind of use whatever it fits in. Um, so, Which I guess can be nice. Yes. But, you know, if you only need something, they're not going to send you an oversized box. But, but when you're it, placing like a <clears throat> three to six month order, yeah, it's, you, you know, you don't want to have empty space and you don't want to have a little bit extra. So, yeah, yeah it's, I mean, it makes a big difference. When you guys see our unboxing, you'll understand. It's a significant amount of rats we get at one time. And I think our Rodent Pro unboxing, um, I think that was a full box unboxing. I forget. In any case. Um, so, at Lane Labs, A, you can't fill a box to capacity. B, you pay more for shipping, even for the same size box, because we ended up making a comparable order from them to try to kind of get a good cost estimate. Um, and their shipping was just way, way higher. Again, not, not that I wouldn't recommend Lane Labs, just they're going to cost you more. They have nicer bags it's got, and, a, and a cooler that they send you. It's got to come from somewhere, right? That stuff ain't free. Um, business 101. The Rodent Pro and Cold Blooded Cafe orders, the shipping was pretty much the same, except I was able to get more rats into a Cold Blooded Cafe shipment calculator on their website than I could on Rodent Pro. And I did it a couple different ways with a couple different rat sizes, rats and mice, because we ordered both. I keep saying rats, but our orders do include some mice for the smaller animals. Um, I was able to get more rats in the Cold Blooded Cafe box. Not by a lot. But when the shipping is the same and you can get 20 more smalls in a box or 40 more smalls in a box, I forget what the exact number was, it was mm -hmm. one or two more bags, and you divide out that shipping, it adds up. It adds up over time, right. especially when you're ordering as many as we do. So, yeah, if you same get an extra week or two for feeding at home, that's exactly. If you, so if you go to their websites, the shipping costs are within reason, the exact same but you're gonna be able to get more into the Cold Blooded Cafe box on their website calculator as of the making of this video. Now they may see our video and go, whoa, we are, we're short selling ourselves, so I ain't gonna change the calculator for all I know. We'll don't that. do that, Forrest. If you're watching this video, Forrest Fanning, don't change your calculator. I like that you can fit more in your boxes. Uh, you're not watching our video, but anyway. If anybody knows Forrest and wants to point him to our video, <laughs> tell him not to change his calculator because I like his better than Rodent Pros. Uh, I think that covers it. Quality, packaging, shipping, price, and I see how long this video has went. So I think we should call that good because people aren't going to watch this long of a video anyway. <laughs> so at the very end of the day, the, you know, the final thoughts is, you know, they say on Jerry Springer, if you have the, if you want us to give you an opinion on which one to buy, it's really, you can go with all three. I yep. mean, we, we've had, you know, none of our animals have turned away the food. Be just because they didn't like it. I mean, you know, you know, you have animals that go off feeding. 
for whatever reason, it wasn't because of the quality. So you can go with any one of the three, and I, I think you're good. I agree. I agree. You can go with all three. If you want a short answer, quality of the rats themselves, I think Lane Labs and Cold Blooded Cafe have a slight edge on Rodent Pro. If you want to talk about shipping uh, and the quality of the packaging, I think Lane Labs has the advantage there slightly versus Rodent Pro, Rodent Pro and Cold Blooded Cafe. If you want to talk about price, I think that Cold Blooded Cafe is the cheapest, followed by Rodent Pro being in a really, really, really close second, and then Lane Labs being the most mm -hmm. expensive, only because of their shipping price really is the determining factor there. I think that covers it. Yeah, I think cool. so. Just let us know in the comments if you've actually worked with somebody different. That's what we were trying to do is branch out and see what would be the best for us. If you've worked with a different um, uh, shipper or company, please let us know in the comments. Otherwise... Yeah, yeah we've looked at a whole bunch of other ones too and then kind of chose these three out of mm -hmm. those to try based on price reviews, all that kind of stuff. So if you have another good recommendation, always, always looking for a good wrap place. But right now, I think... Going forward for us, if you want to know the answer what we're going to do, we're probably going to go Cold Blooded Cafe mm -hmm. from now on. Um, unless there's a really good sale at Rodin Pro, in which case we might make a Rodin Pro order because of the price. Uh, probably won't order from Lane Labs only because of price. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless they have a really good sale that makes their shipping comparable to everybody else. Or they change their shipping policies and make it like everybody, the other two, which have like $30 a box shipping. All right. That's about it, guys. Hey, I'm gonna try everybody. to yeah, end this video before it gets too long. Uh, if you're new to the channel or you watch our videos and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I like to see all our subscribers. We just got a couple new ones today. I saw you. I uh, appreciate it when people subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like, comments. I try to get back to everybody. Leave a comment. If you have something you want to see in the future, go ahead and put that down in the comments too. Thumbs up. It's always appreciated. The like button, like I said. Uh, if you want to know when the videos come out, hit that notification bell. That's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. All right, bye, everybody.